Thank you, Senator. Um, so I'm Mary Beth Walsh. I represent um, the areas around Saratoga, Schenectady, and Fulton counties, and I'm the sponsor of the of Jacobs Law in the Assembly. Um, the Assembly, unfortunately, again this year has killed the bill in committee in the Education Committee. Um, they're saying that it needed to be held. Uh, there are, there have been concerns raised about. Um, if an individual was being bullied at school for being gay, for example, or for being called gay, that somehow it might inadvertently out the child to the parents by requiring parental notification. But the bill has been amended, and the bill has been amended to address that concern. Um, it's been primarily opposed by a handful of assembly members, but they've been enough to block the bill. So the, the bill will not pass this year. Uh, despite all the best efforts on the Senate side, because we need the bill to be passed in the Assembly as well. So the bill is a good bill. D DASA is a great bill too, but uh, as the Senator said, it doesn't require parental notification. And you know, this year we passed a $229 billion budget that allocated $1 billion to mental health care. This bill, passage of this bill doesn't cost a dime. It doesn't cost a dime. All it does is it says that if a child is being bullied in school, that the parents should be notified. And that just seems so common sense. The people that I've spoken with in my district can't even believe that it's a thing. I've, t I've spoken with different school superintendents and school to school, there's a different viewpoint about what DASA requires. Some school districts that I represent do notify parents and they don't use necessarily the language that was used in the bullying episode, but they're letting the parents know that your child has been bullied. Let's get together, let's make a plan to address it to hopefully prevent this kind of thing from happening in the future. And that's what really needs to happen. You know, on a personal note, I have a beautiful blended family of six children. My oldest son is on the autism spectrum. He's um, 30 years old. And I just found out within the last couple of years about bullying that he experienced in middle school and in high school. I just found out. He kept it to himself for years. And I feel so bad as a parent that despite the fact that I was very involved in school, uh, not, I wasn't notified. And also that Terry, my son, didn't notify me because he was embarrassed and he didn't want to burden me. So he carried that burden. And fortunately, he never did anything to harm himself. But as we know, that's not always the case. And my heart breaks uh, for your family. And I'm so sorry. And I'm, I really want us to be able to get this bill done. There's no good reason against it. My understanding is that there is a bill that's starting to circulate in the assembly that will um, modify DASA to, to, to try to address this concern. But it's not the same as Jacob's Law. I don't think it's as strong as Jacob's Law. And it's a, there's a big price tag that's attached to it, which I know that the governor's viewpoint is generally that if something has a price tag attached to it, it's gotta be done during the budget process. And we can't wait another year to pass a bill like this, to address this concern. We're losing our kids. And like I said, this bill doesn't cost a dime to taxpayers. It just simply says that wouldn't you want to know if your child was being bullied? And I think every parent's hands go up at that. So I, I'm happy to be here today, although it's very sad to me to think that we're, we're coming into the end of another session where thousands and thousands of bills are gonna be taken up and passed. And yet this very important piece of legislation is getting stalled on the assembly side once again. So I hope that we can in the future get this over the finish line. I'm so grateful for the bipartisan support that we have for the bill. We need to make inroads on the assembly side and make, uh, make folks aware that this bill has been amended, addresses the concerns raised about it in the, in the past, and is a very, very important piece of legislation to uh, get parents involved, keep them involved, and to notify them in case their child is being bullied. So um, I want to thank Senator Tedisco for leading the fight in this, and I'm very happy to do whatever I can on the Assembly side to, to make sure that this gets passed in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.